Minister, while I appreciate that this bill is largely technical in nature, in that it deals specifically with the need to facilitate the integration of RV and Gas Networks Ireland and to provide for the transfer of functions and assets from RV to GNI, it does also raise very serious issues that merit our scrutiny here today including around the delivery of the strategic national infrastructure in the areas of water and gas. I would also like to know what the reason for its delay was, given that Minister O'Brien told us in December of last year that he hoped that this bill would be ready by early 2023. We are now almost 10 months into the year. I would also like to ask if the Minister believes that pre-legislative scrutiny, scrutiny of the bill was sufficient. As I do not sit on the Environmental Committee, I was surprised to read that the committee conducted only one engagement with stakeholders on the 4th of July, and that involved just three senior civil servants from the Department of the Environment, Climate Action and Communications, who were the Principal Officer, the Assistant Principal Officer and the Administrative Office Official. This seems quite odd, given that the legislation provides the Minister for Housing, Local Government and Heritage with a 90% shareholder control, with the remaining 10% split equally between the Minister for Environment and the Minister for Public Expenditure, NDP Delivery and Reform. I also find it odd that the pre-legislative uh, report only made a single recommendation that was for the passage of the bill through both the houses of the Oireachtas. I would also like some clarity on another matter, Minister. The general scheme of this bill provided for no policy matters in regard to the future of the role of gas, which I understand was to be provided for through the EU gas package following the conclusion of the trilogue uh, process. This, of course, is an area of policy that is causing absolute consternation and indeed outrage. And we only need to look at the bizarre decision around the Shannon LNG project, which I fully supported, along with my colleagues. While this bill may be technical, we are going to have at some point, we're going to have to have at some point a very practical debate around the future of gas supply and energy security in this state. I also want to just refer briefly to SEAI, the warmer home scheme. It is absolutely shameful that pensioners are very concerned. They're left too long on a waiting list. I cannot get clarity in regard to the time frame that they'll be waiting in Leash Offaly. And I have a number of pensioners in their late 80s um, who are concerned about a hard winter, a cold winter, uh, because they cannot get works carried out through the warmer home scheme. It's unacceptable in this day and age. Government, good.